you know, the uh, at 2 a.m. on April 27th, uh, the steamboat was probably a, about nine miles north of Memphis. The river was at flood stage. Uh, there was not a levee system in place at that time. So the river probably was uh, three to four miles wide. Uh, it was uh, cloudy. There was a light rain falling. Most of the men on, on the Sultana, the passengers, the prisoners, were uh, asleep. Uh, there were a total of two lifeboats and 76 life preservers for probably close to 2,500 people on a boat designed to carry 376 passengers. And at 2, 2 a.m., there was one soldier that was awake. He looked at his watch, and when he saw that it was 2 a.m., uh, all hell broke loose. Uh, there was a, just a tremendous explosion. The entire center of the boat was destroyed. The pilot was completely blown off the boat. Uh, the, the decks were so overloaded that the crew had to place additional supports at Vicksburg to keep the decks from collapsing. And when the explosion occurred, when the boiler exploded because of the patch that had been placed on the, the, the boiler at Vicksburg, when it failed, uh, the boiler exploded. Two other boil, uh, boilers on each side exploded. Uh, the entire center of the boat was destroyed. The decks collapsed like a house of cards, trapping hundreds of men. Um, many men were actually blown off the boat, and within 20 minutes, the entire superstructure was on fire. And the men that uh, survived uh, the initial explosion, they had two choices. They could stay on the boat, face the flames, or they could try to jump into the river. Uh, and there's story after story of, of men jumping into the river uh, and of course it was dark and there was just a mass of drowning people. Uh, the wise people, the wise men uh, actually waited until the, the people that had initially jumped off the boat had drowned or floated on past, on past the wreckage. Then they broke things off the boat uh, and floated towards Memphis downstream uh, with the current. Uh, and uh, the boat continued to drift downstream. Uh, it lodged at the head of an island. Uh, and when morning finally came that day, uh, the river was literally covered with bodies of blue clad soldiers uh, that were floating even past Memphis. Uh, a lot of the people that were uh, the survivors were actually rescued at Memphis. And story after story, the men would be rescued uh, and then they would just, because of hypothermia, just go to sleep and die. Uh, and uh, for days, they were pulling bodies out of the river. The steamboats, some of the gunboats actually, uh, uh, the wheels, they had to stop the wheels to pull the bodies out of the, where they had been caught into the water wheels. It, it was just a horrible event. Um, a lot of the survivors were rescued by ex-Confederates uh, at Mound City. Uh, they were rescued at Memphis. Uh, they were taken in. Uh, and uh, even though they were Union soldiers, uh, the war was over. The Memphians, for the most part, really went out beyond the call of duty to take care of these injured people.